Hello and welcome to Bugman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on the Batmobile from Fan Home, stage number six. Let's go ahead and get the book open and we'll get the parts out and we'll get this part, these, uh, this stage built. Looks like we've got the main part of the engine from the Ford Futura. We've got some AM screws, some DP screws, DM screws, and CM screws. Quite a few screws in this one. Looks to be the oil pan. Kind of like that. Looks like we actually have a maybe working U joint. Let's see. Gearbox bracket and oil pan bracket is this other one. Okay, so let's turn a page and we'll start. So this bracket here goes onto the oil pan and there is a slant on the oil pan so it goes in a on in a specific order or in a spe specific way. Set that on there, get two out of the three DP screws that are in this pack out. Set that one off to the side. Always a spare. Which, it's funny because you, when the spare isn't there, you kind of miss it. I'm doing the ET build as well, and there's no spare screws, and I'm like, if I lose one, this is bad. But every other part work that I've done, there's always spare screws. So ET is a little bit different, but it is a great build. So tighten these down. Just make sure this one's tight. So there you've got a lug now on top of the oil pan. And you can see the oil pan is slanted so that you can, basically in a car, it's so that the oil will flow down here to get pumped up. That way you don't have anywhere where the Oil is not um, where the oil is just pooling and not nothing is going on with it. So we got this part here, which is half the uh, engine. No, actually, sorry, that's the transmission. Let me see. What does it say? I think it's called. Oh, okay, it's the gearbox. So this is the transmission. It is not the engine. And you're going to take this here, you're going to put it on here like this with the slanted part towards the front. I'm just curious, will it fit the other way? It will, but then it extends out past the bottom of the uh, transmission. And the oil, this oil pan is actually just going to be the transmission oil. We're going to use a DM screw. There are three of them, so there is still one other to be used somewhere else. Take the DM screw. We're going to dip that in the oil. Put this back in place. And put the screw in and tighten it, tighten it on down. Still can go a little bit further. Now the bracket's good and tight. Better. What I did is I tightened a little bit on the plastic screw. And so there's the oil pan in place. And we're going to take the bell housing from the last issue. And like I said, I said during that issue, this will probably fall off. Not a big deal. I will put it back on permanently once we have it um, 
once it is, um, what am I trying to say? Once it goes into the permanent, it's permanent house place. And I'm sitting, what's funny is I'm sitting here trying to hook it up the wrong way. And it's not going to work. The tab's too short for one. And that part goes to the engine. So this one is also going to be the DM screw. There we go. Got one spare. Put it aside. Dip this in the oil. it started tighten it down let's see make sure it's good and tight and also look at your picture and make sure you don't put it on backwards which is what i just did The starter bump belongs on this side. So let's put this back on here. Put that back in there. Get, get in your hole. It goes in a lot better the second time. <laughs> You're not cutting threads at that point. That looks better. And I'm going to leave this wire off. It goes on here. But it is, it, it's loose enough that it fell off. Maybe it'll stay. I actually pushed it back on just now. Maybe it'll stay. Maybe it won't. That bracket, where does that bracket go? Okay, that's going to go on top. So this piece here is going to go back here. There's a little gap here. And this is going to pop on here just like that and actually should be able to turn once it's once everything is put together this is going to be held together by two cm screws and what i mean by this will be held together is because i didn't clarify this part goes on now trapping that in there and there goes that wire Trapping this in here, and it is rotatable, not very rotatable. It kind of sticks. The picture shows it on there like that. So I'm going to leave it that way. But if it needs to move, it can. Dip this screw in the oil. I'm going to put the first back one in first. Second one dipped in the oil. Put it in and tighten them both down. There's that one and that one. And like I said, this can rotate. It's pretty tight in there, so I'm not going to. And I'm pretty sure most of this is going to be hidden anyway. So at this point, we're going to turn the engine over. Are they? transmission over we're going to put the mounting bracket on and that's going to go on be attached with two am screws go ahead and turn the page so you can see what i'm looking at put that one in the oil Line up the screw hole, put the first one in, get it started. They actually go in really nice when you use the oil. If you don't use the oil, they can be a pain to get into the uh, die cast. Come on, get in your home. Tighten it down this one down and that when you're doing the screws into metal you can tighten them down pretty tightly but you don't want to make them so tight that you snap the plastic so there turn it back over is our transmission housing 
starter will eventually go on here. This cable will get super glued in there. And this looks like it's going to actually attach to the frame of the car holding the uh, transmission in. That's all there is to do in this stage. Hope you're enjoying this build. I waited for a long time to the, for this build. This thing, this car was first announced about two to three years ago, and I signed up for it. And then Eagle Moss went out of business, and we never got it. Fantastic that it finally came out. So, like I said, hope you're enjoying this build. I'm having a good time with it. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I post a new video. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. Links will be in the description. Man, sounds like I do that part every single time. Um, thank you for stopping by. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you in the next video.